Hello and welcome to the Explainedio video course. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the user interface. I've got a video project open here. This is the same project that we created in the basic overview video. Let's start with the main toolbar at the top. In this first section, you can open an existing video project, create a new project, save your project. These projects are saved in the main Explainedio folder under the project subfolder and saved as a .explainedio file. In this next section, you can preview your video project, add audio, and render an MP4 video. I will be creating separate videos to cover each of these functions. This import button is used to import fonts. Only TTF or true type fonts are supported. This presentation button is used if you want to present your video like you would a PowerPoint presentation. You have the undo and redo buttons, which are self-explanatory. The visit button allows you an alternate way to edit your video projects using these hotspots. In the settings tab is where you can manage shortcuts, your Pixabay API integration, your explained your login. It's important for you to log in in order to have access to the scenes gallery. And the login credentials are the same as you explained your account login. Under languages is where you can change the language of the user interface. And as you can see, you have several options. Royalty free images is for the Pixabay integration, which gives you access to thousands of copyright free images. Royalty free footage will no longer be available because of changes in YouTube. Here's where you can deactivate your explained your license key. And you can also contact Explained Your Support if you need to. The market icon will take you to the Explained Your Monthly Club page, which is packed with amazing pre made templates. And finally, the account button will take you to the Explained Your Members area, where you can get your license key. Down below is where you'll see the timeline, where it displays all your scenes. Currently, there's only one scene. You can add scenes using this button. And when you click on a particular scene, it will display the elements in this area for the specific scene. In the next video, I'll be giving you an overview of the timeline, so I won't cover any details right now. Down below in this section, you will see various tabs, and these tabs are contextual, so what you see here will depend on the type of elements you have in a particular scene. Again, I will be creating a separate video that gives you an overview of the tab section. In this section here is where you will see the scene preview. So if I were to click the scene preview button, it will play the preview only for that specific scene. Similarly, this create video from scene button allows you to render an MP4 for an individual scene, and that can come very handy. You can also create square and vertical videos. By using these two checkboxes. This open canvas button at the bottom will open the canvas where you can add elements to your scene. In a separate video, I'll give you an overview of the timeline where I'll show you how to add different types of elements to your video project. I'll see you in the next video.